Today is Monday, November 14th, 2017, and this is the Service Monster Show. Today, we talk about Mason moving to Hydromaster, Twitter opens up a 280 character limit to everyone, and Service Monster released last Wednesday, 6.1.3. This week in social media, Mason from Mason's Network, previously of John Don, is now working for Hydromaster as one of their regional sales managers. He's not moving anywhere, as I understand it, but he will be attending a lot of trade shows on Hydromaster's behalf, and I'm sure creating all kinds of fun social media content related around the RX-20 and the other goodies that Hydromaster produces. I think it's a good move for Hydromaster and they continue to add talent to the team. I remember when they picked up Doyle Bloss, what was it, like six years ago. Man, time goes by way too fast. Keith Kalfis and I did a spontaneous Facebook Live. He pulled me in just kind of on the fly. What was it? I think last Wednesday. Interesting discussion. We went for a half an hour. Look, if you guys have podcasts that you're running or if you know about podcasts, I love doing those. So feel free to drop me a line or tell the organization to invite me. I'm, I'm all over that kind of stuff. I love talking to you guys that way. Twitter uh, was playing around with its 280 character limit now as released it to everybody. And not unexpectedly, their tweets have increased. Some of the sharing has increased, but some of the hardcore Twitter people, they're not digging it so much. So there's lots of noise right now about how bad it is and doing all kinds of examples about how you can kind of mess up the news feed. I don't have an opinion on it either way. I find it a lot easier for me to copy stuff that I do from Facebook now and paste it directly into Twitter. This week on Smug, Corey Spence asks about QuickBooks. Should we use QuickBooks Online or QuickBooks Desktop with Service Monster? Interestingly enough, doesn't really matter from Service Monster's perspective. We integrate with both QuickBooks Desktop and QuickBooks Online. And so depending on what you choose, you'll have a different configuration option for synchronization. But it essentially comes down to a push of a button. The invoices and payments move over. Clients move over who aren't in the system already. And you're pretty much good to go. There's a handful of other ways you can use QuickBooks integration as well, such as not just putting a general ledger entry in of your monthly revenue and accountants are usually pretty satisfied with that. If they need the details, you can use Service Monster to dig deep if you need to. There's a handful of different ways to approach it, just kind of whatever flavor you want. QuickBooks Online has come a long way, but it's still really for the single owner operator or mom and pop shop. There's not a huge amount of features in there and I'm not even sure they have payment integration in yet like they do, or payroll integration, like they do for QuickBooks Desktop. At least that was one of the things that kept us from using it. In addition to that, it's just a little slower and clumsier. They're not really a SaaS company, although they're quickly adapting to become one. Kevin Snyder pointed out a few weeks ago that SendJim, uh, the integration, wasn't passing phone numbers over. So that's in the 6.1.3 release. Enjoy. Jeremy Higley, tongue in cheek and kind of not, asks, is there any way to turn off Mobile 2 for us techs? They tried Mobile 3 eight months ago and hated it. <clears throat> Sorry about that. But now he wants to get them using Mobile 3. Here's my suggestion on that, Jeremy, and to anyone else, because I know a handful of you guys surprisingly chimed in on the same topic. Wait for Mobile Technician. It's just a few weeks away. You don't want them to have to jump through hoops to learn Mobile 3 and then switch to Mobile Technician. And Mobile Technician should be super intuitive, no training required. They're just gonna load it on their phone and go. This week inside Service Monster. So we've created a new position here I'm very excited about. It's the online training personality. This individual will be responsible for creating two to five minute videos, documenting Service Monster top down and keeping up to date with all the features that we release. So it'll be a very busy job, but I've done a few prototypes. I like what we can do with it and what it brings to the table for you guys, especially since we can rely a little less on individual one-on-one -on -one training if we give you guys awesome training content online that you can do whenever you want. So um, I think we have someone in the pipeline. Uh, they're gonna come by today and finish up some paperwork and then uh, I'll let you guys know. One of the things I always talk about is scale and putting good people in place. When you have an amazing team, the things you can do are 
just amazing. Right now I'm having all kinds of problem with my well, but that allows me the freedom to just kind of duck out of work whenever I feel like over the last couple days to see if I can get this thing addressed. I know that the team here is gonna take care of you guys, the clients, the development effort, like everyone here is just so amazing. And so if you're a single owner operator, you just have one or two guys and you feel like you're always chasing your tail and you don't have time to breathe, just keep chugging grow, grow, and then at some point, man, you'll be able to just kind of chill too and leverage what your skills are towards the horsepower of the business. Service Monster product updates. So uh, Service Monster 6.1.3 was released on Wednesday and had a handful of things that we blogged about. You can go check it out there. Megan will put a link in the show notes. A couple of things that I thought were kind of cool were the Twilio integration, of course. It's in the marketplace now. You can use your own Twilio number and that means clients can text you back even when Service Monster sends them a text in the first place. The default is using a catch-all pipeline, right? Clients won't be able to respond back to that and have that go anywhere meaningful. But if you hook up a Twilio account and buy a number, I think it's like a buck a month, you can plug that information into Service Monster and then you can actually have a conversation even through texts that are sent out through the system. The other thing that's kind of nifty, you guys asked about, and so we uh, gave it to you, the little hover, the little flags in the Google Calendar that we have embedded within Service Monster itself, so the map. Right. If you hover over the little flag on the map, it'll actually bring up the job information, which is very cool. Mobile Technician Beta continues to move forward at a pretty quick pace. We're looking for a release here on Tuesday or Wednesday, and then I'll be opening it up to a handful of more people. If you're interested, ping me. Send me a messenger or send an email to support at servicemonster.net looking for that access to the beta on mobile technician. Thank you so much for your attention. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, go check out the demo and give us a call.